So there is an undisputed GOAT in the NBA, especially in my league on 2K. And that player is Grant Williams. And for those of you who might be confusing, they're like, what is this guy talking about? Grant Williams? Grant Williams barely plays. No, 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 no. Grant Williams averages 24 points a game. You might still be confused. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, makes total sense. So, editor, roll the clip. The Jazz stats before we look at the Celtics stats and then get into the playoffs. What is Grant Williams doing? What? What? Grant Williams isn't even in my rotation. What is he doing averaging 24 points a game, my leading scorer? I mean, I don't know if he only played one, a couple games or something, but like, what? Dude, that's so weird. Yeah, in yesterday's two-team rebuild, Grant Williams, who was not even in my rotation, averaged almost 24 points a game. How? What? I don't know. Either way, now we have to rebuild a team around Grant Williams because it's the only logical thing to do. So what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, Grant Williams Rebuild. We're going to fantasy draft a team around, around Grant Williams, picking him with our first pick and then letting them simulate the rest. Yeah, so that's going to be the video. So make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, 50 likes is the goal. Hopefully um, we can get, you know, 50% of the people watching this video aren't subscribed. If we can get all of you to subscribe, that would be amazing. But yeah, let's hop into it. So the first thing we have to do is we are going to pick a team and I'm just going to randomly select a team. Grant Williams, I believe, is on the Celtics in real life, but today he's going to be on the... I just did 76ers. To, maybe I didn't just do 76ers. Yeah, I think I did. So we'll stop here. Spurs. All right. Grant Williams on the Spurs. So where do the Spurs get? What pick do they get? Looks like 26 or something like that. So instead of taking Jimmy Butler, Chris Middleton, Kemba, Rudy Gobert, I mean, some of these really nice young players, we are going to take Grant Williams. I don't even know what position he plays. He's a center, I think. So let's just go. Let's just try and find Grant Williams. I don't know what his overall is. I think he's like a 70 something overall. We got Robert Williams. I need Grant Williams. Oh, I should just go by name. There we go. There we go. Look at look at TKE. He is getting smart. Williams. Where are you at? Okay, the other way. Um Whitehead. Allen Williams, CJ Williams, Grant Williams. He is a power forward center. All right. We're going to simulate the rest of the draft. We're going to see what the rest of the team looks like, and then we're going to try and win a championship. So I'll catch you guys when we get there. So this is the team we got. We still ended up with Porzingis, and then we got Luke Kennard, <coughs> excuse me, Norman Powell. So we have some options here. We also got Kobe White, which is going to be awesome. But then Grant Williams is literally our worst player, and we took him with our first pick. So, that's kind of rough. Uh, but let's go look at the rotation. Kobe White's going to spend the year in the G League, I think, for sure. And what else do we need then? We have, you know, like Norman Powell and um, Luke Kennard, who both have a bit of trade value. But I want to make sure we get people, you know, get some picks or something to really build with this year. So we'll trade away Luke Kennard right now because I don't... He's not going to be around for the whole video if we have to go all three years. So if we can trade him right now, that would be the best possible thing. Someone like Christian Wood would be pretty nice. But if we could get like a 2020 first round pick or Spencer Dinwiddie would actually be really nice. But I bring in Spencer Dinwiddie a lot, I feel like. So let's just take these picks from the Suns. And then I'm going to go look at the um, power rankings and just see who they think is going to be really bad. And try and get their pick. So they say the Pelicans. They say the Pelicans and Grizzlies. Pelicans. Okay, so the Pelicans are going to be bad. Let's go look at the Pelicans roster. And why are they going to be so bad? This team shouldn't be that bad. But let's try and get their pick. So we will trade finder for the Pelicans first round pick. See what they want for it. They want Kobe White. Okay, you're not going to get Kobe White. But we will... 
All right, let's do this. So we'll throw that first round pick in from the Pelicans, and then we will try to give them Norman Powell. Oh, they don't have money to take on. Okay, so I will give them a 2021 pick, and then like a pick in 2024, and then some second round picks. So 2020 second, 2021 second, and another second in 2022. And I'll throw them 2023 first, sure. Oh, wow, they're not even going to take that. Okay, so let's go and see if we can get the Grizzlies first round pick. Because I saw they were supposed to be pretty bad as well. So if we can get there first and not have to give up Kobe White, that would be nice. 2021 pick of Michael Beasley, Kristaps. Okay, I'm not trading Kristaps. Jeremy Grant, Alex Len, John Conchar. We'll go with this one. Not the best, but it's fine. And what else do we have out here? I want to see if there's anybody in really big contracts we have to get rid of. And then we're probably just going to tank this season. So Norman Powell makes $10 million. That's fine for now. Um, Jeremy Grant, we'll see what he does with his uh, player option. But other than that, I think we're pretty good. So I'm just going to go fix up the staff. We have Greg Popovich, which is going to be fine. Assistant GM is actually fine too. Trainer is good too, so we're actually going to stick with what we have, except we're going to get a better assistant coach, and that'll be Trent Peterson. Okay, now I will simulate season number one. We'll see how Grant Williams performs. I got to start him. That's something I got to remember to do. He has to start in every lineup I have, so we're going to give him all those minutes, and for this season, we're just going to make him our number one scoring option. He's not going to stay it like that for the entire video, but for this season when we're just tanking he can we'll see how many points he can average and i'll catch you guys at the end of the season all right season number one ended up with us going 27 and 55 if you want to take a look at the awards here they are the bulls have luca and tj warren so that's interesting all right so 27 wins definitely not gonna be good enough for the playoffs which is exactly what i hoped uh here are the all nba teams did Kristaps happen to make anything uh what are we the spurs I don't see any Spurs players here, so let's get into... Oh, we do have Grant Williams, an all-rookie second team. All right, so I'm interested to see what his stats look like. So let's go over and look at those. He averaged 15 points a game, four rebounds. Shot, not good, um, but Kristaps played really well. Alex Len played decently. And yeah, the rest of the team, just whatever. So uh, we're going to simulate the playoffs. And then we'll see what uh, what our lottery odds are, where these picks fall and everything like that, because we'll have ours. We'll have the Grizzlies. Grizzlies made the playoffs, unfortunately, so they're going to have like the 20th pick or something. But let's go to the draft lottery and let's just check it out. And we end up with the third pick, and then we also got the 15th pick via Memphis. So that's cool. That definitely won't be too bad. Staff signing. Oh, we need a new head coach. I think I'm going to try and bring in Michael Stauffer because I don't really know if Greg Popovich is the answer. And then we'll also bring in um, Michael Williams. Hopefully they both come. They do. And let's get into the draft. Let's see who we'll take at the third overall pick or if we want to trade it. So let's look into some trades first. If I could trade Norman Powell in the third pick, what could I get? Oh, Jalen Brown and Steven Adams. That would be really interesting, actually. Um, Zach Levine and Jeremy Lamb, John Collins and DiVincenzo. I don't need a power forward because that is going to be um, Grant Williams. So this one's actually not bad. It's a lot of money though. So I think we'll take somebody and then we will um, we'll look after that. Let's see who's here at three at least. So someone like James Wiseman's here. Onyeko Kongwu is here. Um, we're going to take Wiseman. We'll see what happens here with this 15th pick too. And then we're going to actually like look into trading afterwards. So Jay Scrubs here. Nico Mannion's here. We'll go with Nico Mannion. And do we have a second round pick as well? We have 31. So let's go ahead and take Poku. And then we'll get out of the draft. We'll see how all these players look. Wiseman's an 80. So we can definitely look into trading James Wiseman and like Norman Powell. And see what we can get if we get some of those offers we had earlier. So we have all these players, 74, 73, and an 80. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Team player options. Jeremy Grant declines. That's fine. That's $10 million out the door. Elio Kobo can get his option. And now I want to look into trading Norman Powell. 
Let's just see what Norman Powell can get us. Well, hold on. Let's first see what Norman Powell happens to Norman Powell if he goes to a small forward. He stays, so we'll leave him at 81 as a shooting guard. We'll trade Norman Powell. And let's see if we can trade him and like Poku and get something pretty nice for him. Because we don't need Poku on this team. Um, Tobias Harris. That's interesting. I don't bring Tobias Harris in often, so we'll look at that. But I need to go see how much money we have first off. Because, um, yeah, if we don't have enough money, you know, it'll be hard to do some of these things I want to do. Like, I want to sign somebody. We can get rid of Grant's bird rights and Augustine's because I don't want them. Alex Len also don't need him back. So let's try and sign... Um, let's go into free agency first. Let's see if we want to try and sign anybody. Like, doesn't really make sense to bring any of these people in because we don't, you know what? Let's try and bring in Anthony Davis. Let's just throw him as much money as we can. Player option, no trade clause. Actually, no. Let's, let's try and throw him the player option as much money as we can, but we'll not throw him the no trade clause because I want to trade him if we can. So... Anthony Davis, are we at the top of his offers? We are not even close. Okay, so that kind of stinks, but um, we can try and bring in DeMar DeRozan then, I guess. So we got DeMar in here. That's good. It's good to have DeMar, and I want to trade DeMar now. So if we trade DeMar DeRozan with two first-round picks, what can we get for him? Brandon Ingram? He just re-signed 28 million a year is not that bad. Jimmy Butler, Shea is on the last year of his deal. Tobias, D'Angelo Russell, um, Kemba. We're gonna go with Brandon Ingram, I think. And Patrick Williams. So then we got Patrick Williams. We're gonna trade Norman Powell with Poku, like I was looking at earlier. And just see what we can get there, if we can upgrade a little bit. Or if we can somehow make that trade. Well, we need a shooting guard. That's what we need because we have Kobe White. So a shooting guard. And we have our power forward already. So let's trade Norman Powell with like... Nico Mannion. We'll throw in this first as well. See if there's any... Oh, Drew Holiday. I never bring Drew Holiday to this team. So I definitely could do that. He's on the last year of his deal, so if he's gone after this year, he has a player option, actually. So that would be good. So we'll do that. And, okay, so now we have a point guard, shooting guard, small forward. We have a center in Kristaps Porzingis. And then we have our power forward with Grant Williams. All right. So what else could we do? Do we have any money in free agency here? We could bring DJ Augustine back. Okay, let's do that, actually. I thought I renounced his rights, but if we can bring him back for that, I'll do that. Also, Jeremy Grant would be a good bench piece. I thought I thought I renounced all of their rights, but apparently we did not. Is there any backup centers that are young and decent? Actually, we don't need a backup center. We could use a backup point guard, I think. So, Jerry and Grant. All right, so let's go to player progression. I think we have enough players. Chris Ops is an 89, B.I. is an 87, Kobe White jumps up 8 overall to an 84, Drew Holiday is an 82. We're probably going to look into trading him, maybe, you know, if we throw him with, like, Grant Williams or something, we might be able to get something decent. But I'll send some people to training camps. I'm going to send um, Grant Williams to a camp, hopefully he can improve a little bit, and then we'll get into the season. Alright, so this would be the lineup, except we are going to put Grant Williams in over... Jeremy Grant, but Jeremy Grant can go up the lineup. He can be definitely be our backup power forward here. So I like what we see here. Um, we got to get him some minutes from somewhere. So we'll take them from Elia Kobo. We'll give them to Jeremy Grant. Um, even a few more here. But DJ Augustine, you know... We flip him to a shooting guard. He's a 77. That's not bad. I want to look into trading Drew Holiday right here, though. So Drew will even throw in Patrick Williams or Poku. Who should I throw in? I wonder who has more trade value. So we'll propose a trade here. We'll put Poku and Patrick Williams both in there and just see how much trade value they each have. 
Oh, Patrick has three stars. Okay, so we will try and trade away Patrick Williams with um, Drew Holiday and this future first round pick. Can we bring in a better shooting guard? Buddy Heald would be nice. I haven't brought Buddy Heald in for a long while. CJ McCollum would actually be pretty nice too. Um, I think we'll go with Buddy Heald here. And then we will trade away Dylan Brooks because we don't... Actually, we could use Dylan Brooks. Let me set the rotation. Um, off the... Okay, Wiseman's not going to be starting there. Grant Williams is going to start. Wiseman's going to come off the bench here. And then Dylan Brooks is going to come shoot up the ranks on the bench a little bit as well. Okay, so now this is what the team would look like, but we have to get some minutes for James Wiseman, so we'll take some from Jerry and Grant and DJ Augustine. Give all of them to James Wiseman. 19 off the bench. He could probably afford to get a few more. We'll give him 27 minutes off the bench. We'll get Grant Williams about 27 minutes starting. A few more to Chris Stops. A few more to Buddy Heald. Uh, we'll make sure that's at a 10-man rotation. Bench utilization is at 30. All right, so this is the team for this year. I think I want to take away more minutes from my bench, too, and give them to my starters. James Wiseman can keep his minutes, though, but I want Kobe White playing at least 30. 30 for Buddy Heal. Brandon Ingram should get about 33, and then 31 for Chris Stops. So that's the team. This is the system. What system's best? Triangle is actually solid. Balance is what we're going to go with, though. So I'll simulate season number two. We'll see how good this team is. Hopefully Grant Williams and his surrounding cast can win us a championship, but we might have to wait for next year. I'll catch you guys at the end of it. All right, and just like yesterday, yesterday's video, Giannis is back on the Timberwolves, so that's something I like to see. But um, 50 wins this season, 50 and 32 to be exact. LaMelo Ball won Rookie of the Year. Um, yeah, just a solid overall season. Um, not perfect, but should be able to maybe win a round here in the playoffs. So do we have any Spurs on any All-NBA teams? We don't defensively. Also, no. And then rookies, we have Wiseman and Kobe White both on there. All right, so I should have sent Poku down to the G League, but I didn't even think about it. Either way, um, let's go. Okay, so Grant Williams still in the starting lineup. Perfect. I want to go check out the stats quick. Um, Porzingis, 20 points. Grant Williams, 8.6 points. Uh, Brandon Ingram and James Wiseman both played well, too. I need to go check something out. Hold on. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't have Grant Williams as my first scoring option anymore. But where are we? I don't remember. The Spurs. We're the three seed over here in the Western Conference. So let's simulate this first round against Phoenix. And we win that one in five, so that's cool. We're going up against a seven-seeded Portland who just beat Giannis. They have Ben Simmons, Zach Levine, Harrison Barnes, P.J. Washington, and Ennis Cantor. Should be able to beat this team as well. We do. We sweep them 4 nothing. Now we got uh, the Dallas Mavericks who have Drogic, Fred Van Vliet, Otto Porter, Pascal, Siakam, and then Clint Capella. So we should be able to beat this team as well. But I... All right. 3-0. 4-1. We beat them. Now the Wizards already in the NBA Finals in just year two. So we still have Grant Williams in our starting lineup. They have Tyus Jones, Derek White, Rodney Hood, Anthony Davis, and Bam Adebayo. So that is a problem right there. Grant Williams is going to have his hands full from um, Anthony Davis. But let's go ahead and simulate game one. We win. Perfect. Let's get game two. They win. So we're tied 1-1. Can we get game three or not? We go up 2-1. Can we go up 3-1? And we do. Let's simulate with SimCast and let's see if we are going to win the NBA Finals in just year number two. So there's about three minutes left. We are down by seven. I'm going to jump in and see if we can win this game. I'll catch you guys in there. All right, so we're in here and we have to win this game. So we are down by seven. So we have some work to do, but Buddy healed. That mid-range shot. Let's go. Banked it off the backboard. Let's get it. All right. So we have some time. We don't got to rush anything, but we definitely need to start um, doing some things right away. But um, yeah, 
Timeout by the Wizards. I want to take this time and just say thank you to Crushables. If you guys noticed, the banner and the profile picture have changed. Crushables just randomly did that. I didn't even know he was doing it. Just posted on Twitter and is like, surprise, like, here you go, buddy. And I'm like, dude, this is fire. So I had to put it. The wolf looks sick. The half face, half wolf. And the profile picture looks sick. So shout out to Crushables for doing that. Definitely did not need to do that. But if you guys have your own YouTube channel, and if you want to, you know, get somebody to do your thumbnails and stuff, hit up Crushables. He does good work, cheap prices. Um, so hit him up if you need any work. He's done some of mine. I do most of my own, but he has done some, and he's just killed them. So yeah, definitely go uh, check those out. But anyways, we are back, and Rodney Hood is trying to clamp or trying to not get clamped up by Brandon Ingram. We'll see how that works. But um, yeah, George Hill. This lineup on this Wizards team doesn't like strike me as one that should be good enough to go to the NBA Finals. But um, Kobe White's in the corner. All right, Grant Williams. We got to get a bucket with Grant. He's got such a good defender and Bam on him though. Yeah, he's just getting pushed around. All right, let's try it again. Oh, wow, bad pass. That was an absolutely terrible pass. You never pass cross court like that. My bad. B.I. Oh, with the foul. All right, we're down by five. We have just over two minutes left. If we lose this game, we're up 3-1, so we still have time to win this championship. But I would like to do it right now. So, all right, we're down by seven. We got to kick it into gear now. All right, we're back. Kobe White. Can he dribble past his defender? That was such a bad shot, but Wiseman with the board. Wiseman with the bucket. Let's go. Down by five. We got to play defense, though. Can't let George Hill be cooking us. All right, George. Kobe White got behind him. Brandon Ingram on Rodney Hood. Rodney Hood's bigger than he looks. Like, if you saw a picture of him, you'd never guess he's as big as he is. Uh, but he's taller than I thought he was, for sure. Dante DiVincenzo. Grant, what are you doing, dude? Wow, Grant Williams, you are lucky, man. You are so lucky that he threw that pass out of bounds because your man was wide open under the hoop. You're so lucky, bro. All right, where's Grant? We got to get Grant the ball while he doesn't have Bam on a bio on him. James Wiseman, come set the pick. Grant with the pet. Oh, I am just playing so sloppily right now. Come on, B.I., you got to throw a better lob than that. Grant's not good enough to just go up and get it. Kobe White pushing up the court. We got just under, just over a minute left. Oh, I got stripped, too. Come on. Come on. Oh, Kobe White almost with the strip from behind. Fouled him. I don't think they're in the bonus yet, so we're good. But, man, we got to start scoring some points or we are not going to win this game. Buddy, play D, man. How are you going to let Dante DiVincenzo do that to you in the post? Brandon Ingram. Got to get a bucket. Let's go. So we are at, we're four points down. There's 50 seconds left. All right. Oh, buddy, come on, man. All right, Brandon Ingram. Kobe? Oh, that's a long two again. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's go. Come on. Bam on Abadio's at the line. We're down by four. I do not think we're going to be winning this game. All right, let's go. Let's get a quick three from Buddy. He's wide open. He's got to make that. Come on. Buddy, you got to make that, dude. All right, Rodney Hood's at the line. We've seen him choke free throws before in the NBA Finals. Will he do it again? He miss he makes the first one, makes the second one too. We're down by seven. I don't want to be calling a timeout. Come on. We'll just go to game six and we'll win it there. That's all that we need to do. So they put the scrubs in, which is unfortunate. But um, DJ Augustine, Jerry and Grant in the corner. Can he, he greens it. Let's go. All right, they took a timeout. 
I don't think we're going to win, but we that three definitely helped. So let's see what goes on here. All right. George Hill's got to miss some of these free throws, and we got to get a quick shot. If he misses at least one, that would be clutch. He makes the first. Misses the second. All right, let's go. Okobo, you got to drain this, buddy. Dude, what are you doing? Why is he dribbling all around? I couldn't even do anything with him. All right, let's go to game six. I'll see you guys there. All right, so game six is here. We'll simulate this one with SimCast as well. And it's a close game here. We're up by four. All right, we're going to win. And we win by five. And Kristaps Porzingis is the finals MVP. And we won the championship just in year number two. Let's go check out some playoff stats. We have a little bit more time. So, we got Kristaps with 21. Brandon Ingram with 21. Buddy Heal with 18. Grant Williams, 10 points, 4.5 rebounds, 2 assists. Shot a lot better from the field. Pretty decent from 3 as well. Shout out Grant Williams. The absolute, undisputed GOAT. He can average 24 points without even being in the rotation. But yeah, that will be it for today's video. I hope you guys all did enjoy this one. I know I did. If you had as much fun watching as I had making, subscribe to the channel. If you had more fun, subscribe and turn on the post notifications. And if you had the most fun, like, subscribe, post noties, and in the comment section below. Let me know if there's anybody in the NBA that's actually better than Grant Williams. Because I'm pretty sure the guy's the GOAT. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a ton of fun. As always, it's been TKE. It's been real. Peace out.